I'm Marcel Fontenot and this is a look at headlines from the KTC newsroom for this Monday, August 30th. In the aftermath of Ida, there is now a second storm related death here in Louisiana. A man drowned while trying to drive through a flooded street in New Orleans. We're still in a search and rescue mode. We're, we're not recovering yet. We're still responding and trying to save lives. It's been more than 24 hours since Ida's landfall, and Governor Edwards says this is just the beginning of emergency response efforts. There are teams from New York, Massachusetts, Oklahoma, and other states here in Louisiana to help. And let's take a look at the hard hit area of Laplace, for example. The governor's office reporting so far more than 190 people have had to be rescued. First responders have checked more than 400 homes and rescued 30 in harm's way, including one person suffering a life threatening emergency. South of Cutoff, people who left their homes in Golden Meadow are asking for pictures and any updates from neighbors who stayed behind. This video taken from the morning showed damage up the town. We are seeing buildings destroyed and tin ripped off of boat docks with boats on their sides in the water. A similar scene across much of the Gulf Coast. Well, if you want to help in the response, keep an eye out over the next few days for opportunities we know there are coming. This is just some that we know of so far. Louisiana Strong Initiative is holding a donation drive at Jefferson Street Pub in Lafayette. You can drop off donations Friday and Saturday. There's a list right there and other donation items can also be found at KTC.com. And in Iberia Parish, you can drop off supplies at the Iberia District 1 Fire Department or the Generette Fire Department. The first shipment will be sent out to Homa Wednesday. Turning now to weather, Rob, we can gracefully say that Ida has left our area, thankfully so. Yes, and we're back to normal summer programming with respect to the weather. Temperatures starting out mid-70s for our Tuesday, and then by Tuesday lunchtime, lower 90s. And with the westerly wind, we're going to get into the mid-90s. Few scattered showers and thunderstorms across the area. Your rain chance in the 30 to 40 percent range tomorrow. We'll be in the 40, 50 percent range, we think, over the next couple of days. Temperatures mid-90s for your Tuesday. And as we move into the next five days, we're going to notice drier weather moving in toward the end of the week and just in time for the weekend. Still hot during the day, but at night feeling a little bit better. Upper 60s to lower 70s. Uh, rain chances eventually return with tropical moisture mid to late next week. That's it for weather and news. We're going to have more, of course, on KETC at 10 p.m. So we'll see you then.